Torneco Taloon's chapter is the most unique and entertaining chapter of Dragon Quest IV. The potential of this chapter should be readily exploited, not only to ensure an easier time in Chapter V, but also because it offers mechanics you won't find in any other chapter. And I think it's quite fun to amass a large amount of money. I'll spell you with the story elements, as I want to get right to business. <laughs> no pun intended. Anyway, your boss is waiting for you at the weapon shop, so head left and have him guide you into the daily grind of working a weapon shop on commission. Work this shop for two days. If you get lucky, a customer may sell you a cautery sword, but even if this doesn't occur, you only need to work two days. On the morning of the third, buy two wings of wyvern, or chimera wings in this version, from the item shop, and as many herbs as you can while still having a hundred gold left. Head to work, but talk to your boss across the counter and buy a copper sword. Don't forget to equip this. <laughs> Leave town and head north right away. Uh, once in the northern cave, don't explore. Just hang around the stairs and fight monsters until you've either about 700 bucks or an item drops you can cash in for several hundred. This will usually be an iron lance, iron armor, or broadsword. It's alright if you die here, as you have nothing really to lose. Uh, the herbs you brought with you will come in handy, so use them whenever you drop below about 15 HP. Herb drops should keep you going, because item drops in this chapter are pretty prevalent, and hopefully you won't get poisoned. Once you get an item to sell, get yourself two chainmails back in Lakanaba. Leave the town and head south, ignoring the village for now and entering the castle town of Reinhardt. Once here, speak to the armor purchaser in the castle and sell him the chainmail. Uh, it costs you 350 to buy, so only sell if he offers you 420 or more. If he offers less, just say no. Use your trusty Chimera Wings to return to Lakanaba and stock up on chain mails and return until you have a bit over 1k. You could try for bronze armors, but I find that chain mails work a lot better. Also, don't forget to head into the castle basement and give one of your Chimera Wings to the prisoner there. Uh, once you have the gold you need, like I said, about a thousand, head back to Lakanaba via a Wing of Wyvern or Chimera Wing, whichever version you're playing, and get the dog in your party. Here, Head out of town and manually walk to the village you bypassed before. The dog will trigger the event to free the engineer, who will head to Reinhardt to repair the bridge. Head back to Reinhardt and talk to the king, because this will trigger the event that actually has repaired the bridge. And be sure to speak to the prince so you can trigger his evening event as well. Go back in and get the letter from the prince. Walk south to Endor. Once there, settle the problem with the prince and the wedding and the invasion that Reinhardt wants to do. And once you do that, the king will give you permission to open up a shop. Now, once in Endor, you should have over a thousand, so you can hire the two mercenaries here now. If you have the dog in your party, he, you can't hire the soldier, so you might want to return to Lakanaba and drop him off. Get the two mercenaries and head up north to the cave. Here, Beeline to get the statue. It should be really easy with these two guys in your party, and if you get lucky with some drops like leather shields or helmets or whatever, you can equip those on Taloon. Uh, the only item to get here really is the Chimera Wing. Everything else you should leave alone. It's best to save this stuff for Chapter 5 anyway. Once you get the silver statuette, exit and use your Chimera Wing and go back to Endor. Here, you can sell the silver statuette for 25000 but you need thirty-five to buy the shop. Don't let this dissuade you. You just use that 25000 you just made and buy a bunch of iron aprons from the armor shop. Use a Chimera Wing, go back to Reinhardt, and sell all of these to get a lot of loot. Uh, since the iron aprons cost you 1500 you shouldn't sell them for anything less than 1600 Generally speaking, you can sell them for over 1700 and in many cases, over 2000 If you do this three times or four, depending on your level of patience, you should have between forty and fifty thousand. Once you have this amount of cash on you, it doesn't take that long. Buy the shop, and your wife will congratulate you and tell you to go talk to the king. Talking to the king triggers the next event, which she wants you to get six broadswords and iron armors. Anyway, if you've sold iron aprons to Reinhardt, you'll have enough to actually purchase outright the broadswords and Reinhardt and the and the iron armors here in Endor. Do that, you can end the chapter. But why stop here? Sure, if you're wishing to continue the game, by all means, but this chapter can be further exploited. That 65,000 you have right now can be used to purchase gear in Endor and resold at your own shop. In the DS version, you can hold 
almost a million GP. So you could earn hundreds of thousands very fast here. If you were lucky enough to get a cautery sword, use your chimera wings, head back to Lakanaba, and just use that 65,000 you got and buy as many cautery swords as you can. Head back to Endor and have your wife sell them. Do this over and over again and amass hundreds of thousands of GP. Once you have a lot, pack up a bunch of cautery swords, or if you failed to get them, abacus or iron aprons. As many as you want to hold in your inventory while still retaining 65,000. You see, gold doesn't transfer between chapters. However, items in your bag do. So, stock up on as many as you want to resell once you get Talun in Chapter 5 and then end the chapter by in doing so, you'll have set yourself up and you'll have used this chapter for its absolute fullest potential.